What is lineation? In geology, lineation refers to the linear arrangement of geological features such as mineral grains, faults, fractures, and folds in a rock or sediment. This linear arrangement can be caused by a number of geological processes, such as tectonic forces, glacier movement, or sedimentary deposition. Lineation can be described in terms of its orientation, dip direction, and dip angle. The orientation of a lineation refers to its direction in relation to north, south, east, and west. Dip direction refers to the direction in which the lineation dips, while the dip angle refers to the angle between the lineation and the horizontal plane. One common type of lineation in geology is a slick inside, which is a polished and striated surface on a fault plane that indicates the direction of movement along the fault. Another type of lineation is a lineation of elongate minerals, which refers to the alignment of mineral grains in a rock or sediment that have been deformed by tectonic forces. Lineation can be used to determine the direction and magnitude of tectonic forces that have acted on a rock or sediment. For example, if a lineation is oriented in a particular direction, it can suggest the direction of movement of a glacier or the direction of a fault plane. In addition, lineation can be used to reconstruct the geological history of an area by examining the orientation of lineations in different rock units. Overall, lineation is an important tool for geologists to study and understand the structural features and deformational history of rocks and sediments. How does lineation occur? Lineation in geology can occur through a variety of processes, depending on the type of geological feature and the forces that are acting on it. Here are some examples of how lineation can form. Tectonic forces one of the most common causes of lineation in geology is tectonic forces, which can cause rocks to deform and align in a particular direction. For example, during the process of mountain building, rocks can be subjected to compression and shearing forces that cause them to fold, fault, and fracture. As a result, the minerals and other geological features within the rocks can become aligned in a linear pattern. Glacier movement Glaciers can also create lineation through the process of abrasion. As a glacier moves over bedrock, it can scrape and polish the surface, leaving behind a linear pattern of grooves and striations. These grooves and striations can provide clues about the direction and speed of the glacier's movement. Sedimentary processes In sedimentary rocks, lineation can form through the alignment of elongate grains or other sedimentary structures. For example, in a sandstone, the grains may become aligned in a particular direction due to the flow of water or wind during the process of deposition. In addition, fossils or other structures within the sediment can become aligned in a linear pattern. Igneous processes In some cases, lineation can form in igneous rocks due to the alignment of mineral crystals during the process of cooling and solidification. For example, in a basalt flow, the mineral crystals may become aligned in a linear pattern due to the flow of lava during the eruption. Overall, lineation in geology is a result of the complex interactions between geological features, forces, and processes. By studying lineation, geologists can gain insight into the history and evolution of the Earth's crust, as well as the forces that shape the planet's surface. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.